Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry. We're painting one stroke painting today. Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry, and I am so happy to be with you. I love flowers, love gardening, love the spring, and I love the surfaces that you can paint on from clay pots to metal and wood. And I'm doing them all with folk art multi surface paint, which I absolutely love. It's got the thick, creamy consistency that I use with one stroke. And I love that. See how fluffy it is? And to me, it makes it really easy to do one stroke. We can just jump into any project, any surface, from mailboxes to greeting cards. So I'm using flat brushes, and I'm going to lay out and teach you how to do this design. Okay, so I have my Y. I've loaded with sap green, lime green, and a touch of white. So I'm going to come right here to my Y and go one, two, three. I'm really dry. So I'm going to go back and get some medium. Get some more, work it in. So I'm going to go one, two, three on that line. I'm not going to go up the line. I'm going to start on the line. One, two, three. Now see the blending and shading? Now this, this is half sprung. It's not up here. Some of you like to be up here. And it's not sm smashed. It's like if I go one, two, three, I'm half sprung. Does that make sense? halfway between here and all the way down. So then I start scrubbing, all right? And then I pull until I see a seashell. So right here is a magnet. Everything's coming right from that point. So see, I'm gonna keep the light green there, all right? After I see the seashell or a fan, then I start standing up, standing up. Watch the bristles, see them stand up, all right? Hydrangea leaves are really big and floppy kind of a little bit. So I put those, I didn't make him too big. I might have to do another one where he's a little bit bigger. All right, so now see, I went from dark green being on the outside. I'm gonna move this right over here and leave the dark green in the middle. This gives you a whole fun look. So see how the dark green's right in the middle? Okay, so that's gonna give you the illusion that it's folded up a little bit. And then I can pull ever so lightly the stem into it. All right. So let's do one more because I need a bigger leaf. Now you can go all the way up to a one inch. So I'm going to pick up some white. Get good medium in here. Okay. All right. Now I want the lighter color on the outside. So because of where I placed that, let me put this here. Now I'm going to make this a lot bigger. Okay, I can go in and out a little bit, and down, so one more time, alright, so, see I need to keep that dark green in the middle, and sometimes um, hydrangeas, their leaves are a little longer, but I go ahead and just use the heart leaf and we're good. 